on a high pitch, should the barrel come around flat or have an arc to it also? Well, it will always have an arc to it. Justin Gerardo with grit had a real good video on, uh, I don't know if it was Twitter or Instagram the other day, where he talked about a clock face. And when, when we uh, swing in a pitch down the middle or low, the barrel comes down a clock face that would be on the wall. So I'm a lefty. If I'm looking at the clock, I'm gonna see my barrel go from maybe one to 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. If you're a righty, it'll probably look like from 11 to 12 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, if you can envision the clock in front of you. Okay, so that's the arc. That's the arc we create. That's the arc we create when we do this. Okay, it's the arc we create when we do that. The barrel comes down the arc. <clears throat> now his question was, what about the high pitch? Nothing changes, except the clock is on the ceiling. So now I start like this, and as I start to snap at a high pitch, this flattens out really quickly. And so I'm still at 11, 12, I'm sorry, 1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 on the high pitch. Or if I'm a righty, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as a righty. The difference is what this forearm does. When you're getting a pitch middle or low, the forearm is diagonal or horizontal. Something's going on to adjust that. And when the pitch is high, the forearm is darn near vertical. So this move at the high pitch is the same as this move to the middle pitch, which is the same as that move to the low pitch. It's an arc. But your arc angle, if you will, gets changed by the position of this forearm. A little bit of uh, tilt over the plate, or maybe the arm will drop a little bit, okay? And to make that move, all you have to think about is flashlighting the ball. So if I'm in my stance here, and I get a pitch at the top of the zone, I just need to make this flashlight light that ball up. If my barrel was upside down, it would be like that. I'm going to flashlight that ball, and I'm going to come out high. If the ball's down the middle, same thing. I'm going to flashlight that ball, and the barrel comes out middle. If the ball is low, I'm going to flashlight it, and the barrel comes out low. Okay? It's almost like, well, it is like. We need to think about controlling the knob, doing the right thing with the knob, flashlighting the ball with the knob, going up through the flashlight or an imaginary flashlight, beam of light would go up through the ball at a little different angle for the high pitch, at a better angle for the pitch uh, down the middle, and a steeper angle for the low pitch. Start thinking about moving the knob instead of moving the barrel. If you move the knob properly, the barrel moves properly. Okay?